In today's video, we'll take a look at how to use NPM modules within a Lambda function. To get started, let's create our first function. We'll call it Lambda NPM. Let's open the editor and edit the code of our function. So what our function is going to do is return a string back to us. And the string will contain a random UAD that the Lambda function will generate. For now, we'll just use a placeholder, the question mark. Let's try to save and run this function. So when we run it, we get the response back, a UAD and a question mark. So what we want to do is generate a random UAD. To generate this UAD, we can use an NPM module called UAD, which will generate a value for us looking like this. This is the perfect library for this use case and exactly what we need. To use this library, we need to use npm install UAD. And the question is, how can we install this library within our Lambda function? Before we answer that, let's take a look at a few things in our Lambda function. First of all, we can see that it's a folder, not only a single file. So we can actually add more files to our Lambda function besides the index.js file. Let's add a new file, UUAD. Now our Lambda function has two files, index.js and UADJS. And here we specify the handler, which means which function will be the main entrance point to our Lambda function. So in this case, it is index, meaning the index.js file. And the handler is the function that we export from the index file that will be called each time our Lambda function is called. The point is that the index.js file is not the entire Lambda function. In this case, we now have two files. So let's try to use index.js to import the other file we have and then import some code from it. So in the UADJS file, we can export a function. And now in the index.js file, we can import this function and use it. Now let's replace our question mark with the function that we created. Try to save and run it again. So now we get fake UUID back, which is the value we return from our UAD function. What I wanted to show is that a Lambda function is not only a single file, and if we have more subfolders or libraries within a Lambda function, we can use them as well. If we had a Nodge modules folder in our Lambda function, we could actually import the code from Nodge modules and use it within our function. So what we need to do is somehow create a Nodge modules folder here, which will contain our UAD module that we want to use. And in order to do that, we can't really use the console. We'll need to do it on our local file system and then create a zip file with our entire folder and then use the upload the zip file functionality in here to upload our function, including the Nodge modules. It's pretty simple to do, so let's take a look at how we can do it on our file system. So the first thing we're going to do is run npm init to create a new package. Then we'll install the library that we want to use. Let's also create our handler file and function and open it in the code editor. This is our index.js file and it's supposed to expose the handler function like we have here. But now, since we have the Nodge modules subfolder, we can import our UAD library. We'll use the v4 function that we see in here. And when we'll run it, it will generate the UAD for us. So let's actually copy this code. Now, when we'll run our Lambda function, it will import the v4 function from UAD, then call it, generate the UAD, and return it back to us as a string. So our Lambda function is ready. We have the handler. We import the library that we wanted from Nodge modules. And now we somehow need to take this Lambda NPM folder and upload the contents to our Lambda function. So the first step is that we'll need to create a zip file. We'll use the zip utility. We want the subfolders as well, and we want it recursive. We'll call the file deploy.zip 
and we want all of the files in our current folder. So now we have a deploy.zip file, and we need to upload this file to our Lambda function. If we'll go in here, and then choose the file that we want to upload, now our Lambda function contains the code and our node module subfolder, as we can see here. And this node module subfolder contains the UAD library, so our index handler can actually just import it as any other NPM library. Let's try to run it and see the results. So now, as you can see, our Lambda function works. It gives us a response and it generates a fresh UAD for us. It might be not very convenient to each time go to the console and then upload the zip file from here. So let's take a look how we can upload this file using the AWS CLI. First, let's change our function to say uploaded with CLI UUID. Now let's create a new archive. And now using the AWS CLI, we can try to upload the zip file to our Lambda function without using the console. So we can do this by calling AWS Lambda and there is an option called update function code. Let's take a look at which arguments it needs. So we need to specify the function name and the zip file which we want to upload. And the zip file should be in this format. Our function name is lambda npm. So let's copy it over. And our zip file is deploy.zip. Let's see if it works. The function was uploaded and we got a bunch of uh, useful attributes back. We have the function name here, which runtimes we're using, the handler that is going to be called, code size, and etc. Now let's switch back to our Lambda function and try to deploy and run it to see what the result will be. And this is our latest handler that we updated and it generates a fresh UAD as before. So in this video, we saw how to add NPM modules to our Lambda function. In the beginning, we saw how we can include any regular JavaScript files within our Lambda folder. And then we saw how we can do that with a library that we install using NPM. So we also saw how to upload a zip archive to our Lambda function containing all the code and the subfolders using the AWS CLI. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you would like to get updates when I upload more videos about AWS, please subscribe to this channel.